Hey guys, and welcome to the opening days of Mario Kart 8. On this series, we're going to be showcasing pretty much everything about the latest installment of Nintendo's premier karting franchise, and we're going to do it in two sessions. The first one that we're doing today will be fo focusing on the single-player aspect of the game, and I'll be attempting, attempting, mind you, to beat all of the cups on the highest speed setting available, 150cc. Didn't really want to suffer through this on my own, so I thought I'd rope in a couple of our friends from Brain Scratch again, namely Ryan. Hello. And Lewis. Yo. Good stuff. Uh, we've got a lot to get through, so let's begin with the Mushroom Cup. Who are you going to be playing as, Tom? <laughs> it's got to be Luigi, mate. Mm, the ear of Luigi is a cart with horses on it. <laughs> That's the prancer to you, mate. You're not riding the Scooty Puff Jr.? I assume this is an unlockable thing. It is, you get it fairly late in the game. Although, I've been told that it comes at random. It, yeah, it, it, it's set up, the unlockable carts and pieces and stuff are set up randomly, so you can uh. get all like you could get lucky and get all the carts at once, or you could just get all the parasails, which don't change anything. I, I was going to say, because I got Rosalina early, then I got a comment from someone saying, oh, it took me hours to get her. Eh, whatever. Um, it, yeah. This is the build I use for carts. We'll get to bikes and a third type of vehicle in a bit, but... Uh, this one's worked for me online, so uh, let's see how I fare here. So it's kind of like Tekken Revolution. You unlock stuff at certain intervals, but it's uh, you just unlock something random. Pretty much. Now, uh, L Lewis, I know Ryan's played the game, but you haven't. What's your opinion of, uh, let's just say, Mario Kart as a whole? Uh, up to seven, I guess. Most of my mascot kart racing experience actually comes from ctr so when when i um when i went back and played mario kart 64 it was kind of it bland by comparison <laughs> oh yeah everything yeah. was so flat <laughs> but uh i i picked up mario kart wii after i got a wii this was a long time ago i don't have it anymore uh and i remember pl just playing online for hours it's like the only online game i ever played on the wii that didn't suck ass so uh yeah um I don't really remember any of the tracks, though. It's kind of odd. Well, I... Wii overall was a very bland game. If you've played the Wii version, though, you'll be right at home with this. And 7 as well, I guess. It's kind of like a combination. Probably shouldn't use that. That's the uh, Super Horn. I think it can destroy shells, including the blue shell. It can destroy everything that comes at you, including the blue shell. And, oh, that felt so good the first time that happened. My favorite time to use the horn is uh, when you're going over like a very narrow bridge or something, and there's a lot of people either side of you. It's amazing. <laughs> oh man! Uh, but finally, a way to get rid of that damn blue shell. Those were a problem in CTR too. That it was a warp sphere thing that shot out and hit the first place player. Uh -huh. Nothing you could do except hope you got to the finish line before it got to you. Um, not much to say about uh, Mario Kart Stadium here. It's a pretty damn good opening track, though, with some great music, especially the chorus. Just just to quote on the graphics a little bit, uh, they I've just watched a whole bunch of side-by-side -side videos of Wii tracks. It's like, it's amazing how much better it looks and how crappy the Wii game really looks by comparison. Unfortunately, my uh, recording device, the Hoppage PVR1, does not have HDMI, so I'm recording this via component. It won't look as snazzy as it should do, but it's still looking pretty darn purdy all the same. Uh, yeah, I, I see what you mean just looking at this. It, it, there's a lot more going around, and it, it's, it's just not as... <laughs> I don't remember ever being this interested in the look of a track in Wii. It just, it, it, it's very up, down, and all around. <laughs> yeah, it's got a lot of oomph, I'd say. Not bad. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Daisy got beaten out by Baby Daisy. <laughs> she was a better driver when she was two. <laughs> oh, Jesus, how embarrassing. Ugh, the baby characters are so pointless, though. Yeah, should we address the baby fiasco now? Or the character fiasco? Ryan, you know a bit about this shoot. Yeah. Ugh. Just stop making up characters. Really? You know, it, you know. at least the Koopalings are in the platformers and stuff. But yeah. I mean, it's like, no one wants Baby Peach, no one wants Baby Rosalina, no one wants Pink Gold Peach. Well, to, to be fair, I think Baby Peach, at least, was in Yoshi's Island, Island DS. DS. Yeah. yeah. 
here's my thing. Uh, baby characters are fine, yeah, as, like, alternate skins for existing characters. They're being billed as standalones here, and that bugs me. I've heard a criticism of 8 that it's rushed, and we'll get to that criticism in a bit. I don't believe it's, like, wholly true, but it, it reeks of... What's the word I'm looking for here? Compromise? Like, it wasn't exactly rushed, but they would just couldn't be asked to create a more diverse uh, character list. One thing I wish they would do is just bring in some of the RPG characters for a variety. Yeah, like Fawful. Yeah, Fawful or uh, Count Black. Yes. Count Black, yes. That's a character I could get behind. Or even just some of the party members and stuff. Just so that it has a bit more personality. You have your standard group of characters that we know are going to be in. Basically the kind of 8 from Mario Kart 64. Yep. And then it's just kind of like, okay, we need to come up with new characters. Okay, here's... Lakitu, generic enemy you play, you faced in all the other games, and well, t to be fair, I think Lakitu's like done enough community service to warrant him being a playable character. Why the fuck was Honey Bee and Wiggler in Mario Kart Seven? That would make a lick of sense. <laughs> or as Ted brought up in our stream, uh, now we have the baby Koopa Links, the metal Koopa Links, and now the baby Ko metal Koopa Links. <laughs> oh Jesus. Any fucking Christ. Okay, before we uh, get off the tracks, since we're on the last lap now, uh, Water Park, Ryan, your opinion? Very nice looking, uh, pretty straightforward, though. Yeah, yeah. I, it, my biggest complaint about the game, though, is that the guarantee grab doesn't really change anything. Not really. Yeah, I mean, it, it gives you a different look at things in the background and stuff, but it doesn't really change how the game is played, so it's kind of, why did you bother? <laughs> Beneath. F zero levels, then. <laughs> yeah, I get you. Uh, have either of you two played Nintendo Land? How was the F zero game in there? Meh. Uh, haven't played it, so I'm not sure. And gotta go at an average speed, would you say? Yeah, gotta go at an average speed. <laughs> Jesus. Gotta make it have nothing to do with F zero. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, yeah. Oh look, it's uh, that level from Wreck It Ralph. I love that part of the movie. <laughs> I think they're more referencing a Sweet Mountain from Galaxy, but... Sweet Mountain is the Sonic Colors level, dude. <laughs> I was gonna say, actually, oh, right. yeah. <laughs> uh, so sorry, sorry everyone keeps stealing each other's ideas. Uh, when was the first time a candy level happened in a game? I'm pretty sure it wasn't Galaxy. No, I'm just saying. If we're referring to Mario stuff, but... God, the bloom is in, like, full force in this level. So J.J. Abrams directed it. J.J. <laughs> Abrams is actually the last character you unlock in the game. You have to sit in the track and stare at the bloom for ten minutes. <laughs> yeah. The, the underwater portions, do they change the way you drive at all? They make, them a, they make your control a little bit looser. Ah, okay. It makes sense. You're a bit lighter, a bit more floaty. So if you're like aiming to become an underwater racer, primarily shit went off the uh, truck there. Uh, you should go for a cart with a lot of grip on it. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> how, how many tracks have those sections? Uh, some more than others, but a lot of them have like, kind of brief underwater sections. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the uh, tracks later in the game actually starts on the water, and then uh, it gradually transitions like onto land, which is pretty cool. The dolphin one. Yeah, dolphin shoals. Nice bit of variety there. Do uh, I, I haven't played besides the, besides the Wii game. I haven't played much Mario Kart. So do other entries in the series do that sort of thing? Seven introduced the hang glider and the underwater stuff. Yeah, and didn't really do much with it, honestly. I'm sorry, hang glider. <laughs> Wait, you're you're in a car and you you go on a hang glider. The a hang glider pops out and then you just kind of float around for a bit. It, it's a gizmo. Okay. I remember when they first showed both of those off, and then Sega was like, fuck, because they just announced Sonic and Sega and Sonic All Stars Racing transformed at the right, time. Right, yeah, yeah. Uh, the only thing I know about transformed is that the AI is pitifully uh, rubber bandy. Well, it's pitifully rubber bandy here, too. <laughs> it's always been pitifully rubber bandy in Mario Kart. I feel it's a little bit fairer here. It's more the item balance has changed, more than anything. I don't, the item balance means a lot, because it's not just. 
Oh, a computer will come from half the track behind with a blue shell and this screw you out of a win. <laughs> shit, 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 shit. Go, Luigi, go! Gotta go fast. Safe! Poison mushroom? No, lightning bolt. Shazam. Oh, lightning bolt. Oh, basically a poison mushroom. Thank you for referencing the actual lightning superhero, Tom. <laughs> and this cop's going fast. Well, you're going the fastest speed you can, so... <laughs> that would probably have something to do, but yeah. <laughs> well, we're approaching the end of uh, Mushroom Cup now, so how would you say it compares um, to Sevens? Have uh, you played Seven, Lewis? Uh, no, I've played 64 and Wii, and that's it. That's it. Okay. Oh yeah, of course, sorry, I kind of zoned out during the Wreck-It Ralph level. Uh, Ryan, how would you say the tracks in the this Mushroom Cup compared to the last games? Uh, I feel Seven did a bit better job in opening up. I feel... I mean, despite how good the game looks, the tracks are really basic. Hmm. Oh, it is the beginner level cup. Particularly this level's not just... even visually isn't all that interesting. Oh wait, you were talking about eights levels uh, being a bit bland and whatnot. No, I'd say seven as a whole is the blandest Mario Kart game next to Super Circuit. I'm sorry, is this Kingdom Valley? <laughs> Does it always have to go back to Sonic? <laughs> Maybe. You, you you asked us to join you, the Sonic commentary people. Yeah, yeah, but you're not known specifically for your Sonic commentary. You guys have, like, a, a fuck-ton of stuff in your archives. Ah. Uh, yeah, we, we still we still are fairly well-known for our... Okay, but this, this, this does look like Kingdom Valley. I keep seeing Kingdom Valley everywhere. Love the music in the stage. It actually reminds me of a puzzle platformer on the Mega Drive, which I bring up all the time, called Pugsy. I've heard of that game. It's pretty fun. Wall riding, okay. F-Zero GX did it ten years ago. I is that an anti-grav thing, or is it something where you need to keep your, your speed up? No, it's an anti-grav thing. Anytime you pass over those blue panels on the track, your wheels go flat and you're in anti-grav mode. Oh, <clears throat> had to get hit eventually. Motherfucking blue shells. Although, honestly, I think bananas style you longer than blue shells do. Yeah, the spin-out seems to have, like, been buffed, actually. Mm, which item is that? That's... Uh, which one are you talking about? The spin-out, uh, or...? You said, uh, bananas? Yeah, bananas. Bananas. Jeez. Uh, I, I have the worst luck with bananas, actually. I never hit any of them, unless they're my own. <laughs> no, that, that's also how it works. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was like, I, I, I can never actually get them to hit anyone unless they're like right behind me, but who drives right by, uh, you know what, they're, they're probably in, what's that word for, for driving in the uh, other driver's slipstream? Draft, drafting. Drafting, yeah, they're probably just an anti-drafting thing, because I can't see them being useful for anything else. Oh, well, I, I don't know, I've uh, tripped over a few bananas in my time. That or I use them defensively against red shells. <laughs> And, uh, that's the Mushroom Cup. That was actually pretty easy, honestly. I was kind of shitting myself. Well, as I mentioned, uh, the difficulty in this game depends purely on item selection that computers get. <laughs> nice to see both incarnations of Daisy appear in the top three. So, what do we think of um, Mushroom Cup as a whole, Ryan? Fairly standard beginner tracks, not ones I go back to play through online. Except for maybe the Mario Kart circuit, just because it looks nice, but... And it's got bitchin' music, which we'll get to in a bit. Yeah, but... You know, the other three I really don't go back to a lot. Water Park was decent. I would say it's... Actually, no, I would say um the candy level is my least favorite. Just in terms of layout, you mean? Uh, yeah, and it's a bit too, like, bright, and... <laughs> this is gonna sound a bit, I a bit ironic and uh, redundant, but it's a bit too sickly sweet for me. It has the uh, it has a more of a color scheme that matches actually Sweet Mountain from Sonic Colors than the candy levels in the Mario games. Yeah, I think the only thing I enjoy about the water park level a whole lot is that you can cling into the Ferris wheel if you're going fast enough. One last thing, I believe they've actually toned down the difficulty of getting three stars. All you have to do is come in first in every race in a cup now. Good luck doing that with the uh, 150cc though. Oh, what did you have to do before? 
Yeah, what did you have to do before, actually? It was getting first as well as, I believe, having certain times on the tracks. Oh, Lord have mercy. Okay, we're done with Mushroom Cups, so let's move on to Flower.